We're here with Hoyla Gracie today, legendary black belt of the Gracie Jiu Jitsu family. Hoyla, first, if I may say, um, condolences on the passing of your father, Helio, clearly a, a strong figure in martial arts and a legend himself who's changed. He's changed the way people look at martial arts today. Well, um, if I say I'm, I'm sad, it's not going to be the correct words to say, you know, because my father passed away. Of course, I'm sad, but, uh, you know, I just look in the, the way what he leave for us, you know, is a big legacy, and then how not only I live, but uh, how a lot of people live and make advantage with the martial art. He's definitely changed a lot of people's life, and for now to the future, he's gonna still change people's life, and that's his, um, that's which try to keep continue. You know, in my mind, he's not died; he just changed the zip code. You know, like my brother said another day, and uh, we just try to follow his whatever he show us, the legacy he, he leave for us. That's what we're here for. And, and as his legacy, um, yours starts, and, and you have followers, you have a strong team. Um, you've talked about your team being your family. Here today at this seminar, um, many people came out here to, to learn instruction from you, to, 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 to take in what you had to offer. Um, I think it, it's a great opportunity for you, Hoyler, to to show um, the family values and the art that, that clearly your father created. Yeah, um, actually, uh, my whole family worked in Jiu Jitsu for a long time. My father developed the martial art for maybe more than 80 years. And then we worked together and then everybody started to travel. We have academy all over the world. I was back, in, I'm being in Brazil for a long time. And then I'm trying to move to California now. Um, actually, that's one of the reasons to keep the team together. It's uh, it's not only for, to win the tournaments, but make it a little more organi organized, make the team organized a little bit, and make like a team a family. You know, exactly like we have in Brazil. It's the time back then, and the time we compete, everybody together, train together, you know, eat together, and that's is a, is, is a lifestyle. That's what we're looking for. You know, as soon as the guys step in the academy, they can feel yourself comfortable. And that's we just make sure everybody on the same page. And, and part of keeping with the team and, and establishing a, a team for competition is, is a way of people to learn from you from seminars like today through the instructional DVD that you have right now that you put a lot of time and effort into developing. Yeah, the DVD actually, uh, they actually just came out. It's, uh, I'm very hard to do the deal with things, you know, books and DVD. In this DVD, I'm actually, I really recommend it. That's that, that kind of positions I do in the tournament and I show in the academy, you know, as I execute the position in the tournament and right away I show the position in the academy. Well, I just give it to you, everyone, Try to thinking about the tournament in a competition, how I approach, how I, I adjust myself to be a good competitor. You know, that's one DVD. I'm just gonna make four. It's gonna be a serial, but um, probably one each the time. I'm not gonna throw all the, the DVDs in the same time. The problem maybe next two three months is the next one coming out. And that makes sense. Um, you need to let people absorb all the techniques and and drill and train and drill and train and compete yeah well is absorb the technique is not easy you know you need to like every everything else you know you need to spend your time you know you need to be there you know you need to have a good partner to help yourself you need to have a good teach you guys you know need to understand it I'd give a little break and the time start to okay make it feel like automatic and then you can put the speed more fast and and then you can change it from here to there and that's make the game fluid 
You know, that's some people they don't understand sometimes. They like to the academy, they like to be ready tomorrow. Hey, I train in Jiu-Jitsu for more than 35 years. I don't need to tell my age. No, I'm 43 years, and then I'm training Jiu-Jitsu for more than 35 years, and then I'm still learning. My mind is still open to see the little details, the little knowledge, and everything I can put in my game, I'm still work. And that is, is a natural, you know, it's, it's a human being, which is try to learn. If you're not here to learn, hey, better don't come in. It's a life. Agreed, agreed. And you need to learn something new every day. Um, it's, is it safe to say that the techniques that you show in your DVD series are effective techniques are, are going to be effective techniques that, that a person like yourself utilizes, but is also for the white belt, the blue belt, the purple belt? It's a, it's a very basically stuff, the one I show in my DVD, but in the same way is basically, you can use in the tournament, and that's I do in the tournament, and then I show later. You know, it's nothing crazy. Someone is a little more advanced, of course you need to train, but someone you can see, you say, so this is so easy, you know, to approach and, and they make, and try to put in my game. At least, you know, that's I say all the time. You know, if I show you guys 10 positions, you know, if, if you can catch one and then put in your game, I'm gonna be so happy, you know, and that's make my day. You know, you don't need to put all the ten positions. Say, hey, well, I don't like nine position, but I like ten, one. And then the one you give it to me is changing my life. That's perfect. And that's you looking for. And how about future plans for Hoyla Gracie? Abu Dhabi, Mondials? Um, plans for the future, actually, that's, that's a big step for me already. You know, just move to Brazil, to California. I just try to organize my life, you know, it's not easy, like I say. Uh, the words, I don't think so. Uh, it's not, I don't keep this plan in my mind for like a fight in, in the gi again. Uh, Abu Dhabi, you never know. I just still keep this in my mind, but it's a little hard. It's going to be a little far from me, but you never know. Maybe, maybe. And uh, no hose bar. I just try to fight last year and then they don't give it to me, you know, in time and then I forget maybe this year could be one more fight but I'm not looking for a fight I'm not looking for a challenge anymore you know I got a lot of medals and then I'm happy what I have my idea now is try to organize my team of course if it's between this I can fight or you know it's fight for me it's I'm not gonna say you know this is a business you know fight I need to stop everything I do in my life and training and that's given to me a little more hard time. Of course, I like to be in, I like to be involved, but uh, that's uh, start to be a little far from me, yeah. Well, excellent. I thank you, Hoyla Gracie, for taking the time today to speak with us. Well, thank you, John, and thank you all you guys, you know, all the time, you know, give this support. I'm glad you guys don't show me. Thank you. <laughs>